What is going on, guys? Gray here today. I'd like to give some day one tips for all you console players out there. Of course, Blackwood has just released here on console. As you can see, I don't have very much unlocked here on PS4, but I just hopped in and started playing here on the North America server, and I'm really excited to get into Blackwood itself. I've been doing a lot of research about the zone, about what's going on in the game with the new Blackwood chapter. I want to give everyone out there that's on console some tips to kind of help you out along the way. The one I talked about, if you have not seen my video about companions, definitely check it out. Make sure you get your companions early on uh, because they're going to rank up off your XP. So the earlier you have them, the quicker you can rank them up. Also, companion levels are account wide. I talked about that as well in my companion video. But make sure that uh, you, know, you unlock each companion on each individual character. But consider their level to be like uh, your CP. Once you have them unlocked on each character, that their, their level is going to be account wide across the board. Oblivion portals are the new thing in the Blackwood chapters. You can consider them to kind of be like something like Dolmens or any other thing that we have like that that's a world event in game. The difference with Oblivion portals and all the other things that we have in other zones are these are very random. They're going to be a random spawn. They're going to make a lot of noise. You're going to be able to hear them. But make sure that when you hear one, you see one, you hop in. It's a big group event. There's going to be a lot of people in them because that's where a lot of the companion gear drops or you can get a chance of drops of companion gear from Oblivion portals. So make sure if you hear one or see one that you're going to them. I kind of like the idea of them being just a random event instead of on, you know, a certain timer or rotation. That way it makes it a little bit more unique. Also, some other things you can do are uh, you can do more uh, things for your side quest wise for your companions to gain rapport. Now your rapport is going to either be in the positive or in the negative for your companions. Uh, Sometimes your companions may be talking about what they like, you, you know, if they like what you're doing. Sometimes your companions may disagree with your with what you're doing. So your rapport on your companion bar, you're going to be able to see that. And it's going to go up or down, like I said, depending on what you're doing and if your companion agrees or disagrees. And as you go along uh, doing these things, you can unlock more side quests for your companions if you have a higher rapport. Companion items take up bag space. So remember this. You're going to have a lot of stuff in your bag already if you're like me. Even if you have ESO Plus, your bag stays pretty full all the time. So make sure that you're looking at all the companion gear. Make sure you're keeping the pieces that you want. Make sure you're uh, you know, looking at the traits to see what they do, depending on what build you're wanting to do. But just keep in mind, that companion gear is going to take up bag space. Uh, and all of us are kind of limited on bag space to begin with. Uh, one good thing about companion gear is you don't have to repair it, but like I said, it's going to take up that individual bag space on every character that you have, you know, that gear equipped on. Uh, also, I talked about this kind of in my companion video, but you cannot have a companion and your merchant or banker summoned at the same time. You're going to have to dismiss your companion to get out the merchant or banker. Hopefully they'll fix that soon. Also, uh, there's been uh, some different changes and stages added to the CP tree. Uh, they dropped some of the passives in the CP tree. They added a few new slottables in. So make sure you're going in and checking out your CP. The great thing is we have the reforged event. You can respect your CP for free for the next 15 days. There's also, like I said, new CP slottables. So there may be something you want to slot instead. Some things were added back from CP 1.0 that we did not have when CP 2.0 when it came out. Uh, proc sets now scale with your stats. So uh, you think of things like Food, Mundus, buffs into consideration when you're looking at these proc sets because these things are going to scale off stats and all those things that I just mentioned buff your stats. So if you're wearing proc sets, this is going to give you a little bit of different maybe viable builds because of this. I know a lot of people out there are going to be uh, wearing the kilt, the new mythic item, because it's supposed to be one of the best things for DPS. But keep in mind, proc sets now scale off your stats. Also, um, like I just mentioned, the new mythic item, the Harpooner's Waiting Kilt, may be one of the best things for DPS classes. I'm going to have a video for it that's going to be kind of explaining how to get it. Make sure you watch that. But if you're a DPS, you're wanting to get that best in slot DPS, what a lot of people consider to be one of the best mythic items in game. You want to get it early before it gets nerfed, because I'm sure it will, because all the mythic items seem to get nerfed eventually. You might want to go ahead and grab that early on. And last but not least, uh, there are some big skill changes. The first thing, if you are a Templar uh, player, Rune Focus and Living Dark have been buffed. So both of those will be good for your Templars. If you're a Templar tank, uh, Templar healer, DPS, whatever the case may be, make sure you look into that Rune Focus and Living uh, Dark skills. You may want to decide to equip those now that they have been changed. 
and also uh, there have been some damage buffed to things like caltrops deadly cloak and stampede so all those got buffed as well these are just some quick tips some things to let you guys know exactly what has changed and kind of just give you a general idea of what you might want to look at when you start the Blackwood chapter today here on console. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace. <laughs>